Hello viewers, welcome to another very interesting video. In this video, I will be going to highlight the common mistake we normally make during MAGA test or insulation resistance test. So this video is particularly very important for the maintenance engineers and the technicians who used to perform this test to assess the insulation condition of electric machines. So first of all, I will explain what is MAGAR test and why we perform MAGAR test. So MAGAR test is performed by an instrument called the MAGAR insulation tester and this is a small device which has a built-in DC generator that provides a DC voltage to the equipment and in return it gives the output in resistance. Internally, it sends the leakage current and by using the Ohm's law, it only displays the resistance values and you can assess the level of insulation by seeing the resistance value. And why we do MAGA test? We perform MAGA test in order to verify the condition of electrical insulation on different electrical machines or cables such as motors, generators, etc. The most important part of this video is that I am going to highlight those mistakes we normally do while performing this test. The first mistake is short term reading. As soon as we apply the test voltage on the equipment, different types of current starts to flow through the insulation into the instrument. And these types of currents are absorption current, capacitance charging current, and obviously the leakage current. And the sum of all these currents is shown by this line. And as you can see here, that at the start of the test voltage, the amount of the current is very high. And you can see the low value of the resistance on the MAGAR. But as the time passes, this current settled down and this total current depicts only the true value of leakage current. Therefore, in order to take the correct reading, we must apply the voltage on the equipment for 30 to 60 seconds and then measure the resistance. Otherwise, you will get either low or high value of the resistance, which does not reflect the true condition of the insulation level of the tested machine. The second mistake is I think is the most important and the common mistake we normally do. And this is the effect of temperature while performing the MAGA test. What does this temperature do? The temperature causes the insulation resistance value to vary quasi exponentially. What it means, a rough idea is that a 10 degree increase in the temperature half the value of insulation resistance measurement while a 10 degree C reduction in the temperature doubles the value of resistance. It means that whenever you perform the MAGA test on the equipment, you should also record the ambient temperature and next time when you are performing the same test on the same equipment, you have to apply the correction factor of the temperature if the ambient temperatures are different. Otherwise, you will have a different value of the insulation resistance on the same equipment if the ambient temperatures are different. And again, this is a big mistake in judging the condition of the insulation. The third mistake we normally do is to apply the wrong test voltage on the equipment. According to the IEEE standard 43-2000, these are the list of the test voltage we have to apply on the equipment which is rated for these operating voltages. For example, let's say for the equipment rated between 400 to 500 volt, we need to perform the test at a test voltage between 500 to 1000 voltage and similarly for all these equipment 
rated at these voltage levels. So please follow this chart in order to apply the correct test voltage. Otherwise, there would be a danger to damage the insulation of that equipment. And last but not the least, this is also a very common mistake that we only rely on the single reading. The correct procedure of the insulation test of any machine is that we have to make a trend of that equipment and by seeing the trend according to this table, we can judge the condition of the insulation. We should not rely on the single reading. For example, if you are continuously getting the higher values of the resistance on the same equipment, it means that you don't have a reason to concern. But initially you got higher values of the resistance on the equipment, but the trend is continuously decreasing towards the lower value. It still means that the equipment is good for operation, but there is something wrong with the equipment that causes the insulation resistance to decrease continuously. This is how you can refer to this table and by making the trend, you can easily judge what is happening with your insulation condition. So I hope you clearly understand the correct procedure of insulation test and you would not make any mistake anymore. So for more interesting videos, stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching.